Today's video is made possible by our friends at Simply Safe. Good morning, everyone. It is, what is it, Wednesday morning? Yep. Wednesday morning, and Jack and I are heading down to get uh, another load of logs uh, from the sawmill, and this is a big day. Mm -hmm. Jack's gonna be driving the trailer, so. Learn. I showed, learning how to drive the trailer, so yeah. we have um, uh, some country road that's not too busy. Uh, I'll take over once we get into the city, but get some experience on this. Also, uh, Jack was with me last time I picked up the logs, so I'm just basically gonna be his apprentice and I'm gonna leave it up to you to to get them home safely. I don't know about that. Well, if I, if I see errors, then I'll, I'll correct, but... Uh, Wait, I'm driving the logs home? I told you guys the day before yesterday we were gonna be making some changes with vehicles and selling the adventure van and getting something different that uh, kind of better suited our family. Mrs. W and I uh, found uh, the truck yesterday and we're actually gonna be going into town tomorrow to pick it up. So the sawmill is gonna be on hold a little bit because that kind of came up and that's gonna take all day to go do that. So that's gonna be, I guess that'll be the plan for tomorrow. So we'll uh, get the adventure van, uh, I'll get that all detailed and of course, you know, there's always some unfinished things to get done on that and then we'll um, we'll sell that uh, and that basically kind of cover the cost of the of the new truck I was gonna buy a used pickup uh, I went online and I couldn't believe the prices that used vehicles were especially pickups were bringing and there wasn't hardly any available the thing that shocked me is I there was a guy on Craigslist that had a I think it was a 91 Dodge three-quarter ton Cummins, you know, the old boxy body style, the first of the Cummins trucks, you know, the 24 valve, I believe they were. Those are really desirable. It had 89,000 miles on it, and the guy was asking $32,000 for it, a 1991 truck. To this bridge, you'll see the pull off. Slow up, slow up. How was your first trailer experience? It was fine. It's a little bit harder to stay in the center on the truck, but I don't think that's the trailer's fault. Besides right. than that, it went well. If you could pull over here, would you mind jumping out and turning those hubs in? Uh-huh. We're gonna need it in that mud. Just pull with me around the scales. Got it. Like there's a lot less logs than the last time we came here. Yeah, they've moved a lot, haven't they? Yeah. Or used a lot. A wonderful driving condition. Black mud. Black mud, yeah, it is. Why? Is, it's not near as soupy as it was. No, it's not. Why is it this color? Why is it not brown? Is it think it's from the oil? It's like it's a pure black color. It is, I don't know. you lucky dog. You get to go to work today with dad. Well, we went out and tried to go duck hunting on the river this morning, but nothing was flying. We did. We did see some critters. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's. Thirty-three on that end. Twenty six, twenty seven. Most of them we uh, send down to Pilot Rock. They have a they cut what's called shop pine, right? So 
you know, your 1x6, your 1x8, your 1x12, you buy at Home Depot. All that stuff, yep. And the problem is, this this uh, pine has blue stain in it. You can see it right here. Is that, what's that what, what causes that? Is that from beetle? <clears throat> it, it's from beetles, but it's actually not <laughs> directly related. It's actually a, uh, the, the stain comes from like a, an enzyme that the beetles carry. The beetles are just a carrier of the enzyme. And that gets in there and causes that staining. And then that enzyme gets in there and causes the staining. So the mill and pile of rock, they don't buy any blue stained pine. Even they though won't. this would make a beautiful paneling or something. It does like look that. pretty. I had a big ponderosa at the last place it went down and it was all covered in that. Right. Bear! Got a real gift. <laughs> Thanks again. No, All right, Jack. You're driving. Drive up there and pull over, and we'll bind them down. I think you should drive out from this mud. You can do it, need to learn. Okay, now with this, since we're in the mud. Four wheel drive. Yeah, there we are four wheel I'd drive. go in low range. Give it so. a yank. Let me see what's going on there. Oh, you're in drive, put it in neutral. Uh. Low range is usually back, and it'll give you an indicator on the dash when you're in low range. Yep. Okay, this mud's so deep, we got so much weight on. Once you get going, keep your momentum and just go right through it. Just don't stop for nothing. You're gonna feel completely different. Keep going. Speed and power. I was waiting for you to tell me what to do. So we are 
loaded up, ready to go. Jack talked me into stopping for a slice of pizza. Yeah. Are you buying? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think I have enough cash. I got some cash. Hold on. How's your slice? Not bad. I've had better. I've had worse. Cheese? Cheese. We're boring. Jack, I'm pulling over. Are you ready to pull your first big load? Okay. So nothing's different other than give yourself a little bit more room for braking, a little bit more room to pull out because you're going to be a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Same thing applies. Now, on the, a lot of the later model trucks, you're going to have an overdrive cancel. Mm -hmm. When you're towing, you always want to turn that off because the transmission doesn't do well in overdrive. It can burn it up. Mm -hmm. Like on some of your GMs, it'll have actually, I think, a towing boat. Uh -huh. So it, on Fords, it's right here on, yeah. on the, these trucks. So turn that off. Yep. Make sure your overdrive's off. And uh, that's it. Signal. How does it feel? Heavy. It feels very heavy. Simply Safe is an incredibly reliable home security system that you can install yourself. If you've been anxious about securing your home, don't put it off any longer. You can call and order or you can order online. They'll deliver all the components right to your door. You should be able to install your system in well under an hour and that gives you 24-7 uh, monitoring for by emergency services, whether you need law enforcement or the fire department. Simply Safe offers all sorts of sensors that you can custom tailor to what works best for your family, from video cameras that you can access by your phone, uh, to glass breaking setters, sensors, to, to water sensors, to smoke detectors, and you get that 24-hour coverage for around 50 cents a day. Simply Safe on. Home. The good folks at Simply Safe have asked me to share a personal story or things that I like about the system. I like that there's no contract. If for some reason I want to cancel, there's never going to be a hassle. I can simply just cancel it and walk away and I have not, no commitments to anything. The other thing that I really like, I've really enjoyed, is that uh, the door chimes. I have sensors on all my doors and I get a nice little bell notification from the base station whenever someone opens a door, either coming in or going out. Having the sweet loaf, an active child as she is, it's very, gives me a real nice peace of mind knowing that I can hear or always know if for some reason she went outside without permission. If you'd like to get your own Simply Safe system, I invite you to click the link in the description or go to simplysafe.com forward slash Wrangler Star. Last time I showed you a couple different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. There's always, as you read, I used to say more than one way to skin a cat. Yep. I'm going to put you in charge of figuring it out. You do it however you want to do it. But anything you wreck or damage, you'll have to fix. Now hold on a second. Wait, you're the one putting me in charge of this. Uh huh. Let's go see how the river's doing. See if it's cleared up. It was really muddy from that warm weather we had and the glacial melt, melt. It's pretty now. I gotta get out here and do some fishing. I finally got a GoPro. I might uh, rig up some sort of a deal where I could put it down in the water, see if we can see how big the fish are down in there.
This is a beautiful saw log, isn't it? I can't really determine beautiful saw logs. I haven't had a lot of experience with beautiful saw logs. Well, I'm going to teach you how to sawmill. Because it's not sticking out very far, what I gotta do is I gotta wrap it around, right? Pull it out a little ways and wrap it back around. No? I don't have any opinions yet. Just figure it out. Well, that's not very helpful. for that. Is that a bad idea? Is that a bad idea? We'll see. Do you want me to uh, drive the tractor up here so you can rid it? Yeah. I'm gonna go with it's not a bad idea because I've, I've tried to cut through knots before. On this side, so that way it will pull the chain over this way and roll it up into these logs. Right? So you're pulling from one side here, which could, if you were on a slope, could cause the tractor to tip. If you were pulling from equally from both sides, that would be preferable. something this heavy you could if you were to choke this on the bottom instead of the top as you're coming out you could use the front end loader to get to lift it and get some of the weight off of the trailer so you're not dragging so much wood so it's gonna slide better okay. are you with me not really so if this chain were rigged to the bottom uh -huh. right here yeah. and it came up like that as you're pulling you could lift your loader up a little bit and then pick it up and pick it up, pick some of the weight off so you're only scooting rather than scooting and having all that friction of that mark the full length you're just scooting the back of it First and four wheel drive, right? That's right. It's 
specifically took it out of four wheel drive for me that. Of course I did. having to think of things and that means that now I can't like not think of things when I'm working with you. issue. assistant for this, right? Think of me as a safety officer. I never knew a safety officer to get his hands dirty. Matter of fact, I never knew a safety officer to do, officer to do much of anything. I think you're going to make some safety officers angry, Papa. That was intentional. You forget, Papa, they spread safety. Uh -huh. Misery more like. Papa, what have you done? By twisting the chains, it makes them shorter. If they're dragging, you twist them. What do you need to twist? Unhook it, and you twist it, it makes it shorter. Go ahead and pull it off there, and I'll show you. So if your chains, your drag chains are dragging, mm -hmm. that's start rolling it. Twist it in. Twist, twist, twist. Mm -hmm. The more you twist, the shorter it gets. So if you drag it on the ground, that's how you fix it. Seems like that's just a good way to make a big glump of chain. That's a quick way to make your chain shorter. But now you're tight. If you're that tight, when you turn, you'll snap the chain. If you want it to hang, you want a little sag in it, but you don't want it dragging. Yeah. 
Let's uh, carve a little bit off the sidewall of the truck. That's alright. You can build a new sideboard for me. You know, I think it was more, it was a form of art, right? It's it's taking out the natural part of the wood and showing the, the, the money the craft so. of the ship from it. It's, it's Sidetrack my engine